Good morning, it's Monday, January 9th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Passing the Baton, and our scripture is Ephesians chapter 3, where the Apostle Paul writes, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the Creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from His glorious unlimited resources, He will empower you with inner strength through His Spirit. Then Christ will make His home in your hearts as you trust in Him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. May you experience the love of Christ though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Paul is writing final letters to his dear friends. His days as a prisoner were coming to an end, and it was not to be a parole. Paul was under a sentence of death. One of the purposes of the letter was to absolve from guilt this group of believers in Ephesus whom he loved deeply, and doing so to draw them more deeply into Christ's love. Paul's singular charge from God was to spread the gospel to the Gentiles. He had developed a reputation as a heretic among the Jews, a traitor for saying God's love was for everyone not just for Jews. The Jewish leaders pulled every string they could to silence the apostle. This letter was a last testament of his love for his Ephesian family. And in this text, Paul's prayer for them is for spiritual insight that God would reveal the scope of God's love to them, developing in that body of believers the kind of fullness of the Christian life they would need to carry on the work Paul had begun with them. The Apostle was passing the baton to the next generation. Mentors do that. There are many people in life who influence your life, folks who reveal important things. But, truth be told, there are fewer mentors, people who go out of their way to befriend and teach and counsel and inspire. This is passing the good news baton to the next generation. Being a mentor, a pastor of the baton, means several things are in place. First, some valuable learning must have taken hold in your life if you're going to pass along truth. Let's face it, if you don't have a baton to pass on, your leg of the race is somewhat worthless. And before you just give up because you judge your ministry, that's not up to you. That's God's prerogative. Second, there must be a longing beyond your reach. As effective a missionary as Paul was, his most lasting dynamic was his willingness to leave it all on the field for someone else to pick up. And third, you must be willing to let go of the reins. Let's face it, nobody drives like anybody else. If you won't trust God to work in the life of someone who looks up to you as mentor, you didn't have a ministry, you had an agenda. Most of us will not have to face the executioner's acts like Paul did to realize the time of passing the baton is at hand. Letting go to trust God's hand is the supreme act of faith. For you today, To move into being a mentor for the next generation takes some experience, much vision, and a heart that's willing to reach the finish line. Let's give Paul the last word on that today. Philippians chapter 3. I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. Eat you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.